Aquarius, you are up for the May love energy reading. I'm turning my phone on Do Not Disturb. I thought I had done it. All right, there we go. So, yeah, excuse the lighting. I thought I'd get a, a little bit better adjusted, but it's not But it's not about that. Anyway, it's about the reading. So, for the love tarot energy reading for May, take what resonates with what does not. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading energy in the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. All right, so I pre-pulled the cards. The energy that I'm getting off of this is that someone wants to upgrade you. Someone sees potential in you. Now, it could be switched. You could actually want to upgrade somebody and you could see potential in them. But honestly, I feel like it's you that someone sees potential in and they want to upgrade you. They want to work with you to build something. There's a lot of baggage in, in some of this on your end that I'm getting because of the cards that came out. So I'm using an Oracle deck and I'm, I'm using a tarot deck to clarify. So Let's go ahead and start with the oracle cards. The first card is camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. And I feel that some of you are a little bit stuck in the past, is what I'm getting. Now, part of this could be because of decisions made in the past, which the other card that came out is not enough. It says frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy, not enough. Where for some of you, maybe there was a situation in the past where it just wasn't enough for you. It was something about it that just wasn't enough. And after time has passed, you're like, okay, well, was it really not enough? Or was I just overthinking it? Or did I not give it a chance or, or what have you? Where you could have been in that energy. Now, the third card that came out is self-indulgence. It says, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. And I feel this is connected to that because now some of you might be questioning your worth. Also, if something did not work out in the past, you might be wondering, well, did I have something to do with it? Some of you might be saying, well, what is wrong with me? Because that's, the, and that's not something that just Aquarius asks. That's something that a lot of people ask in, in previous, after coming out of a previous relationship. Or if they're having like a, a slow, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know what I mean? Where if things aren't moving as fast in the dating life, like if things slow down in the dating life, some people might be like, oh, well, what's wrong with me? And there isn't anything wrong with you. I hear the only thing that you, that would benefit you is some reflection, but don't get stuck in it is the thing. Don't, don't reflect and stay there forever or constantly. You have to move forward because the past is the past and there isn't much that can be done to change it. Now, I will say that there's someone interested in you, and it may be more than one person. The other card that came out is a date. Meeting someone new. Dating. Get back out there. Plan. Set a date. So this is saying get back on the horse. Don't be afraid to see what's out there. For some of you, you may be afraid of seeing what's out there because of what happened in the past. And for some of you, you don't want to repeat past mistakes. So again, you may be overanalyzing. One of the cards that came out during tarot reading is the Hermit. Hermit is Virgo energy. You can have Virgo in your chart or you could be dealing with the Virgo or they can have Virgo in their chart. Hermit energy is about looking within. That is what it is about. It's about looking within. And also gaining knowledge and, and keeping to oneself. Some of you may have been in this energy. Now, the other card that came out is the Three of Pentacles. Something's flying around me. I don't know what that is, but I'm about to start swinging the towel in a minute. Okay, so Three of Pentacles, which is Earth energy. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Three of Pentacles can be about contracts. It can be about working with other people. It can be about recognition for a specific skill. It can be about owning a skill as well, similar to the Eight of Pentacles. But really, this is about working with others. It's something where you need someone to complete a task. This energy that I'm getting is somebody wants to work with you. 
the task is a relationship. The the ta- or let me rephrase. The task is a strong, solid relationship. That is the task. Someone wants to work with you to complete that task. Someone sees that you would make a great partner in their life. And they want to speak their truth. Now, this could be somebody that's a fire sign or they could have fire in their chart. These two cards came out together. So you have the King of Wands and you have the Ace of Swords. Also, Ace of Swords is a victory card, too. King of Wands is very charming. Very charming energy. Also, King of Wands is a boss. All the kings are bosses in their own right. King of Wands is known as an entrepreneur, sometimes an architect. It is someone who takes control, someone who's very um, charismatic. And, and they're a sweet talker. So, and some of you actually might find that uh, I don't want to say threatening, but it might put your guard up because you're not easily fooled. And when people start throwing compliments and stuff everywhere, sometimes you feel like, OK, why? <laughs> so, yeah, but they're speaking their truth. They, they want to win with you is what they want to do. Your energy, I honestly believe, is the Queen of Pentacles energy at the moment. Queen of Pentacles is it also with Earth energy is 3D. And Queen of Pentacles is someone who is very pragmatic, can be very good with money or has the potential to be good with money. But what I get from this energy is Aquarians are very, this is what it is. They're not, they have dreams and they have aspirations, they have visions. I mean, they're, they're the visionary of the Zodiac. At the same time, it's still grounded in reality. And grounded in the moment. And you see the moment as it is. That's sort of Queen of Pentacles energy at times too. I feel that's what they see in you. Is that you see the moment as it is. And they appreciate that. That's one thing they appreciate about you. Now. Queen of Pentacles. Is like pre-Empress energy. Two cards that came out together. Were the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress. Empress is Taurus, Libra, and Cancer energy. Ten of Pentacles, obviously, Earth energy. This person wants to start a family with you. And again, I feel they see potential in you, which is why they want to upgrade you. They want to upgrade you from a Queen of Pentacles to an Empress. They want to have a family legacy with you. They want to build something out that will still be here after you and them are gone. They, they really see a lot in you. Now, you may be stuck in the past. Because like I said before, some of you are still stuck in the past with this Ten of Swords energy. But also with the Ten of Swords energy, this is letting me know that where you're at, that's, that will end. Because Ten is the end of a cycle. So where you're at, that will end. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. So with the Hierophant here, that is letting me know someone wants the commitment. And if you notice here too, the Wands, which gives four Wands energy, they want to build a home with you, is what they want to do. They're serious about committing to you. They're very serious about it. Now, some of you might feel, with the Seven of Swords under the Hierophant, that, that this person, you don't know if you can trust them. Especially with them being a king of wands. You don't know if you can trust them because he's very magnetic, very charismatic. So he can come off as a flirt sometimes. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So you're like, I don't know. For others of you, this might be that self-sabotage. Where you might be strategizing in a way to see, okay, how can I best protect myself while dealing with that person? And the things that you're doing might end up self-sabotaging later. So it can be that too. Again, take what resonates, leave what does not. Under the Seven of Swords is justice. So there's something good here is what this is. I feel like this person might be your good karma that you've met them and that they want to work with you. Now I do feel with this Queen of Pentacles and this Three of Pentacles that you may hold back at first because that's the Four of Pentacles. 
And then also I feel that you may, some of you may still be stuck on the person in the past that you used to deal with. And I say that because three of pentacles minus queen of pentacles is two of pentacles. So there might be some juggling or, or trying to make a decision. But I feel this is only temporary where it comes to that. I believe that for some of you, you will realize like, oh, this person really wants to build with me. This person wants to start a family and, and build a legacy with me. And I honestly feel like they want to upgrade you because I feel like this person, they're at a different place in life where they may have knowledge or information that can help you or they may have money and resources that can help you. I feel like this person will be older than you too as well, especially looking at this man. I feel like they'll be older. All right, so Aquarius, that is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Until next time, be blessed.